Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will learn the science subject of Form 1. Before we start, I want to show you a video about television with no signal. And I am sure most of you have experienced this situation. Am I right? Okay, for your information, this situation normally occur on color television. And color television is related to the addition and subtraction of light. So, by looking at the chapter of A, light and optic, Today, I will focus on the subtopic of addition and subtraction of light. There are four learning standards here. So, I hope at the end of this video, all of you are able to identify primary colors and identify the addition of primary colors to produce secondary colors. Then, I hope you are able to communicate about subtraction of light and differentiate the addition and subtraction of light. So, let's we start with the color of light. Color of light can be categorized into two types. First, primary color. Second, secondary color. Now, let's we go through one by one. First and foremost, there are primary color. Okay, primary color is the basic color. Means that it cannot be created by mixing other colors. And it always being in their own right. So, as you can see in the picture here, primary colors are red, blue and green. Then, look at the secondary color. Secondary color is produced from the combination of two primary colors with equal intensities. The example of secondary color, first, we have yellow. As you can see in the diagram here, yellow is the combination of the color of red and green. Second, we have cyan. Cyan is the combination of green and blue color. And lastly, we have magenta. Magenta is the combination of blue and red color. Now, let's we move on to the addition of light. Here, I want to show you an experiment about addition of light. The aim of this experiment is to study the addition of primary color in order to produce secondary color. Materials and apparatus that we need are two light box with filter of primary color and white screen. Okay, this is the setup of the experiment. You must know that we carry out this experiment in a dark room. And then, as you can see, there are a big white screen and two light box here. So, for the first step, I choose the light of red and light of blue. Then, I click the button of check to see the result. As you can see here, the combination of both lights will produce magenta. For the second step, I choose the light of red and light of green. As you can see here, the combination of both lights will produce yellow. And for the last step, I choose the light of blue and the light of green. 
as you can see the combination of both light will produce cyan Therefore, as the conclusion for this experiment, secondary colors of light is formed when two primary colors are combined together. Red and blue lights will form magenta. Red and green light will form yellow. Green and blue light will form cyan. And as I mentioned before this, magenta, yellow and cyan are categorized as secondary colors. On the other hand, you should know that addition of light also can give you black and white color. For example, as you can see in the diagram here, when we adding all the primary colors together, it will form white colors. Next, look at this diagram. When we adding all the secondary colors together, it will form black colors. Now, let's we move on to the subtraction of light. The subtraction of light can be defined as the phenomena when light that has same colors as object is reflected directly into our eyes. And for your information, both of primary and secondary colors able to experience this situation. Moving to the example of the subtraction of light, first we have object with primary color. In this case, the object will only reflect the light that has same color as them. As you can see from the picture here, this is the green object. So, a green object only reflects green light. Then, the other colored lights will be absorbed. That's why the object appears green in our eyes. Okay, next we have object with secondary color. As you can see from the picture here, this is the yellow object. So, in this case, yellow object will reflect the light that has same color, which is yellow. And also the light of the primary colors, which are red and green. Then, the overlap of red and green lights causes the object to appear as yellow in our eyes. Then we have object with white color. As you can see here, white object reflect all colors in white light. In this case, all colored lights are overlap to produce white light again. Therefore, the object appear as white in our eyes. Vice versa with this situation, now we have object with black color. As you can see here, black object absorb all colors in white light. In this case, no color lights are reflected. Therefore, the object appear as black in our eyes. To conclude all the lesson for today, here I want to highlight the difference between addition and subtraction of light. Addition of light occurs when combination of primary color lights was produced secondary color lights. Meanwhile, subtraction of light occurs when an object reflects the light of same color and absorbs the light of other colors. So, as the conclusion, both of them has different principles of light. Okay class, that's all for today. So, I would like to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope we will see you again. Bye!